Hello, the Mustachioed Anarchist here again, and this time I'm doing a response video to a response video of my first video again, but this time a different guy, uh, Aiden, the socialist drummer, also on the Socratic seminars with me. Um, I'm sorry that it took me so long to make a response to your response, but I've been very busy, and... Yeah, but that being said, let's get into the video. Um, I think I kind of answered a lot of uh, your concerns and everything in my response to Jack's video, but there are some things that I didn't quite touch on in that video that I will in this one. Um, uh, community building, which I did kind of touch on in that, but you... Uh, went kind of a different route with that, so here it is. Um, in a state of anarchy, there would still be that community. Uh, community doesn't need government in order to exist, um, and of course things like the social contract would be missing because that advocates for giving up some natural rights and freedoms. Uh, I don't want to have to give up any natural rights or freedoms in order to have protection from the state or anything like that. And you also talked about nations, like the fascist nations and all that, uh, expanding and then the anarchy zone just, like, disappearing, which I think I also touched on that a little bit. I don't know, this video might be slightly repetitive, and it's going to be pretty short, and probably actually about halfway through it already. Um, but anyway... Other nations expanding and the anarchy zone disappearing, I, I don't necessarily think that that would really happen. Like I said in my response to Jack, I believe that people are generally good and wouldn't invade a peaceful anarchy zone in order to expand their territory. Um, I just feel like they wouldn't morally do that. I mean, look, I am uh, quite an optimist, I think, but... Uh, I just don't really see that happening, and if it did happen from some sort of fascist, uh, from some sort of fascist nation, I don't see the rest of the world just sitting back and letting anarchists get wiped off the face of the earth. If we need that help, um, you know, it's possible that anarchists could maybe defend themselves, probably not very well against, uh, a large fascist nation, but... Um, I don't know. It's it's possible, but like I said, I don't really see that happening. Um, I don't think that it would happen. Nations have been around for quite a while, and not too many of them are really just infringing on everyone else's territory. And I just feel like it would be the same with the sort of anarchy zone that there would be uh, anarchists living in that zone and other nations wouldn't try to just go invade that and, and kill the people that are living there in order to just expand their territory. Um, and then on to your next point, taxes. Um, you said to change that should write congressmen, but I don't see that that would do any good. I don't feel like congressman would listen to an anarchist who uh, wants their whole job and their whole system and everything to just be gone. I, I don't think that they would really listen to someone with those sort of beliefs. I don't think that's going to do anything. Um, and uh, with taxes, you started mentioning all the good things that uh, taxes do. But, in my eyes, it doesn't matter how much good the tax money may do, innocent people are still dying. Um, also, have you seen the movie The Purge? Uh, I've only seen the second one, but I kind of look at tax paying and The Purge in the same way. Obviously, they're very different things, but I think that there's some similarities there. Um, in both cases, innocent people are dying, but people keep up with doing it because it does some good. Um, I believe in The Purge, the good that it does is, uh, like, homelessness is below 5%. Oh my god, my phone just went off, I'm sorry. 
Um, but homelessness is below 5%, and blah, 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 and a whole bunch of other good stuff. But still, people are still dying and in very horrific ways. Um, and same with with taxes. It does do some good, but innocent people are still dying overseas. We can't see them. They're not on our streets, but they are dying, and they are dying in horrific ways. They're being bombed. They're being shot. They're all of that crap. And uh, no matter how much good something may do, if it's coupled with even one innocent person dying, then I can't fund that. I can't be part of that. Um, but in this society, I don't have that choice. I either uh, have to start funding the military and start funding the death of innocent people, or I go to jail for tax evasion, I believe. And, yeah, I, I don't really want to do either. I, I just want to live my life and not have innocent people die because of me, or be locked in a literal cage, as well as the... Uh, the other cage that I speak about, I don't know, mental cage maybe? Maybe. Yeah. Um, and then as for the political spectrum, you mentioned it again, and, okay, there is more than just the left and right. Like I said, there's also an up and down, and anarchists are in the bottom left. There, there's two scales, one is, uh, I believe social freedom, and the other one is economic freedom. Anarchists are full freedom on both scales, which puts them in the bottom left. It's just, yeah, we, we are not, a, we're, we're not on the right, <laughs> unless you look at it from, I don't know, maybe there's one s sort of scale when we are on the right, but on the actual scales, and when you put it all together and and everything. We are in the bottom left. We are full freedom for everything. We are not a right movement. That's just not what it is. It's no. Um, I'll, if, I'll put a picture of that scale if you would like to see it. I, I think I've showed it to you before, but you refuse to believe that that scale exists or something like that. I don't know. But yeah. That's what it is, man. We're bottom left. Uh, if there's anything I didn't answer in this video from your video, let me know. I'll try to answer that. Um, and yeah. Bye.